Hello and welcome to registration for the 2020-2021 school year. Today we would like to take a few minutes to go over putting your course requests in PowerSchool. Before you begin, you need to gather a few items. Make sure you have your registration worksheet, complete with eight courses and two alternates, your transcript, and your PowerSchool login. The steps are pretty simple. We'll show you some pictures to guide you through the process. Step one, log into your PowerSchool. You can do this through the student portal or your parent account. Step two, click on class registration. Please take some time to read through the important notes and dates that we have listed on the screen. Step four, you need to select eight classes. And then step five, you need to make sure that you choose alternates from the alternate box at the very bottom. This is a really important step. Make sure that you pick them from the alternate box. If you choose them from one of the elective boxes, then it's going to put it in as one of your extra course requests. Then you will click submit. You'll turn in your registration worksheet and your transcript to your homeroom teacher on Friday afternoon. When you log in to your student account, you're going to see class registration on the left hand side. You'll see a screen that has all these important dates listed, including when PowerSchool will be open, when we have the registration help table, and the two weeks that we'll hold individual appointments. Please take a moment to look through these before you select your classes. Depending on your grade level, you'll see a box with each core subject, English, Math, Science, Social Studies, World Language, electives, PE, fine arts, miscellaneous, and then at the very bottom is the alternate box that we were discussing. You'll see red exclamation points or green check marks off to the side. That's addressed in the frequently asked questions. One of the neat features about using PowerSchool for course requests is that you will be able to see what your teachers have recommended. For example, this student is registering for 12th grade classes, when they pick the English box, they'll see that their teacher has recommended English for CP. You should see a teacher recommendation for each of your core classes and for upper electives. For example, Masonry 2, Chamber Choir, Playmakers, Nursing Fundamentals, PGC, Yearbook, or more. If you do not see a teacher recommendation next to a class that requires an application or teacher approval, you do not need to select that class. Counselors will verify this at your individual appointments. We now are going to take some frequently asked questions to help you through this process. Number one, do I have to put my requests in PowerSchool? While we won't penalize you if you don't put your course request in before your individual appointment, it is super helpful and will save a lot of time. What if I want to take a level other than what my teacher recommended? Be careful here. Your teachers spend a lot of time analyzing your skills, work ethic, and future plans in comparison with course content. They want what's best for you and have made genuine recommendations based on what they feel is academically best. With that being said, if you and your parent or guardian are determined that you would be better suited for a different level, you must bring in a signed course override form to your registration appointment. This is a big commitment. It is not a quick fix for boosting your GPA. It's a semester long or a year long commitment to hard work and dedication. How do I know if I should take honors or AP classes? You have teacher feedback, past performance, a passion for the subject, strong work habits, enjoy problem solving, and you have to love a good challenge. Who can I ask about AP? Any of the AP teachers or your grade level counselor. Who can I ask about CCP? You can email ccp at clevelandcc.edu or ask your grade level counselor. How many classes do I need to request? You need eight classes and two alternates. If you are a rising senior and want to be a mid-year grad, you will need four classes and two alternates. PowerSchool may not recognize this scenario, but please make sure that you complete your worksheet and we can update PowerSchool at your individual appointment. Will I get my alternate choices? 
only as a last resort. We work very hard for literally hundreds of hours to get you exactly what you requested. There are times that classes fill up or just aren't offered during a time that works with your schedule. We will make sure you get your core classes, but if there's an irreconcilable conflict with an elective, we would have to refer to your alternates. What if I have a problem and I can't put one of my courses in power school? Don't panic. Make sure your worksheet is complete and turned in to your homeroom teacher by the due date. We will refer to your worksheet during your appointment and we'll fix it at that time. How do I handle the combination classes? For a combo class like AP US Government and Civics, please play, pay close attention to the notes in PowerSchool. You will request both courses so that it will take up two spots in your total of eight. We will double check this at your appointment. Do I put my CCP classes in PowerSchool? No, no, no. Please carefully look through the curriculum guide and pay special attention to your options. Go ahead and select your eight classes and two alternates. You will meet with a CCC staff member who will verify your eligibility and then your grade level counselor will put that request in for you. For courses that transfer to a four-year school, you must have a 2.8 unweighted GPA to enroll. That's all for today. We hope we've answered every question that you might have. But if you have anything that we've not addressed or questioned about classes in, in general, please contact one of the school counselors. Their contact information is located on the screen. Thanks!